Hi, this video is going to show you the solution to question 8 in your first assignment and the question is a trigonometric equation with a tan, we have 5 tan of 3x plus 30 equals 2. We start by rearranging the equation so we have the tan on its own, so tan of 3x plus 30 degrees equals 2 over 5 which is 0.4 and now we can calculate the angle 3x plus 30 degrees is equal to the inverse tan of 0.4 we use the calculator to get this value 0.4 inverse tan and it's 21.8 degrees because that's the setting I had in the calculator now this is the value that we're going to be using in our unit circle okay so I'm going to draw my unit circle and put the value in there already so I don't forget. Okay, that's my 21.8. Now we're going to calculate the x value that corresponds to that value. That's going to be 3x is equal to 21.8 minus 30. All of it in degrees. That's going to be minus 8.2 degrees. That means x is equal to minus 8.2 divided by 3. That's our minus 2.73 degrees. If we write this as a positive angle, it's going to be 360 minus 2.73. It's going to be 357.26 degrees. And this is the first solution to our problem. Now there's going to be another angle that is going to have the same tan. Okay, As we're talking about the tan, that transfers from the first quadrant into the second quadrant. Okay, so in here, this angle from here to here is going to have the same tan as this angle, and these two angles are the same. Okay, that means that 3x plus 30 is also equal to 180 plus 21.8. That is going to be equal to 201.8. That means 3x is equal to 201.8 minus 30, which is our 171.8. And from here, x, if we divide by 3, we get 57.26 as our second angle. Okay, these are the first two angles that fulfill the trigonometric equation. Now, because we have 3x inside our tan, we need to go around the unit circle three times. We've done the first turn, which are these two angles, and now I'm going to start a new sheet with the second and third turn. Okay, so I've put my unit circle here with my two angles. We have uh, the 21.8 and then we have the 201.8, which is 180 plus 21.8. Okay, so we're going to go around the circle. Remember, we had a 3x inside our tan, so we need to go around the circle three times. Okay, so now we start our second turn around the circle. We have 3x plus 30 is going to be equal to, and now we're going to be looking at the second loop. So we have, we go around the circle once completely, plus the 21.8, all of these in degrees. That is giving me, if we add this up, subtract the 30, divide by 3, we get that x is also equal to 117.26 degrees. We also have the 3x plus 30 is going to be equal to the 360 from the first round plus 180 plus 21.8. Okay, I could have these two together are 201.8, but I've written them split into two terms. Okay, again, if we work those out, add them up, subtract 30 and divide by 3, what we get is that x is also equal to 177.26 degrees. Now, remember we said we had 3x, so the third round around the circle, we're going to have that 3x plus 30 degrees is also equal to 
the first round 360 plus the second round 360 again plus the 21.8 if we work it out we get an x of 237.26 and also 3x plus 30 is going to be equal to 360 plus 360 for the first two turns around the circle plus 180 plus 21.8 if we work it out x is going to also be equal to 297.26 degrees now for each of these values if we get the calculator let me move this over let's say we take the last value 297.26 we multiply by 3, add 30 degrees to it, calculate the tan of it, that is 0.4. Okay, there's some small rounding up error. If we do the same for the previous one, 237.26, oops, 237.26 times 3, plus 30, calculate the ton of this, is 0.4 as well, and the same will happen with all the other values. Okay, so the solution is going to be two points per turn, so we have this angle, this angle, this angle, this angle, and the first two that we calculated on the first round turn around the circle.